Hello, and welcome to Camtasia Quick Tips. I'm Rob Moore, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Canvas and project files properly so that you can easily make professional video tutorials using Camtasia. These three steps will keep your files organized, save you a ton of time, and give you the best results for your video tutorial. Be sure to stick around to the end for a bonus tip. Step one, project folder structure. Before I even open up Camtasia, I create a new project folder in File Manager. I'm using Windows on a PC, but if you're using a Mac, then you'll set up your folders in Finder. Locate where you want to save all your video projects and create a new folder for your project. I always include the date first, so I can sort my projects by date, but you can use whatever naming convention you like. Within the project folder, I'll then create subfolders for audio, video, and images. It's within these folders that I'll put all the assets I'm going to use in creating my video. The audio folder is where I'll save all my voiceovers, background music, and any sound effects. The video folder is for any videos I'm going to include in my tutorial, other than the screen recordings. I usually won't have anything in here for video tutorials, but for other videos where I can have a video of myself talking on screen or supporting B-roll video, I would put those videos in here. And finally, the images folder is where I'll put any other images I need for my video, things like a logo for the intro or any other logos or images I want to show in the video. Step two, canvas setup. Starting with a new blank project, right click on the canvas and click project settings. I always record in 1080p, so I'll make sure the canvas dimensions are set to 1920 by 1080. I usually like to have white as my canvas background, but if you have a white or light colored logo that would look better on a different background color, you can set that here. You can always change this later. Select 60 FPS for your frame rate for smoother zoom and pan animations, then click apply. Step three, saving and exporting. At this point, I like to give my project a name and save it, even though I don't have any assets in the project yet. It just locks in the file name and my initial settings. Click File, then Save. It doesn't really matter where you save this project file, because we're never going to open it up directly from here. Bear with me, I'll explain. What I do is I create a working folder where I save all my Camtasia project files. Give your project file a name and click Save. Next, click File, Export, then Zipped Project. This will zip up all the files you've brought into your project, including videos, images, screen recordings, voiceovers, and your Camtasia project file. We want to save this in the project folder we created in step one, and it will be saved as testtutorial.zip. This is the reason we didn't need to know where our project file was being saved, because I was just going to zip it up in this export folder anyways. Saving projects this way will make it easy to reopen at a later time, perhaps on a different computer, as all files will be kept neatly within the zip file, and you won't have any broken links like you could if you just tried to open the Camtasia project file on its own. Before I wrap up, let me give you the bonus tip. If you do a lot of work for clients or colleagues, it's a good idea to keep track of all the files they provide you with. So back where I created the three subfolders for audio, video, and images, for videos I'm making for a client, I'll also include a folder called From Client, and anything they give me, I'll put in that folder. I will also create a text file called instructions.txt and place it in that folder, and I will copy over any instructions they give me and put them in that file. That way, I'll have everything neatly organized in one place, which will make things much easier if I ever have to revisit the project several weeks or months in the future. That's it for now. Be sure to subscribe for more Camtasia Quick Tips, and I'll see you in the next video.